What's up, guys? <laughs> I had the camera turned around, but I wasn't able to get going live quick enough to uh, catch the policeman leaving. Oh boy, that was crazy. Well, not unexpectedly crazy. Just, I guess, unfortunately, it's the new normal. Hey, what's up? What's up? <sighs> Y'all are going to be getting buffering, apparently. Once again, YouTube. Let's try to change it real quick. It's just it's ridiculous. I'm going to strongly send a strongly worded letter to my cable provider. What's going on, y'all? How are y'all doing? Hopefully it'll clear up. I changed the setting, so we'll see. Oh look, it disappeared. <laughs> of course it disappeared. <laughs> Let's just switch to this and make sure it's gonna go through. How about that? I have the Of the typical Saturday morning experience or the last week Saturday experience. So, what's going on, y'all? Kevin, Danger Zone, Peter Fox, good evening. William Mansell, Tyler, King Street, and I uh, saw somebody else earlier. Brian, hey, what's going on? Yes, we have, uh, looks like some buffering going on, but I'm just going to try to progress, keep my eye on the live ticker there to make sure that it stays going nothing wrong with a little buffer in between friends hey lpp so while i'm scared to do that video we'll just go ahead and click right into that see what happens there i'm gonna I just, that was just is this it yeah that's it Yeah, that was going on literally three minutes before I hit the live button. <sighs> Got encoder overload. Faster encoding preset. So, yeah, that guy's been some trouble around here. Didn't know he had a hot flame. <sighs> uh, she, yeah, there, he walked off that way, and uh, she got put in the back of a patrol car because she was doing all the screaming, and now this, mind you, this is a fancy restaurant where people pay well over $60 each to get a nice meal and a drink, so... 
they weren't real thrilled with that whole thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, yeah, some guys may get a buffering, some may not. I guess he was beating her. She had bruises all over her leg, but she's the one that got taken away, so. No telling. They're both just drunk. He was just carrying a box of wine from somewhere. I don't know where he got it, but. I don't know if it was a box of wine or just wine. Anyway, he, she gets put in the back of the patrol car. I'm going to go ahead and stop that video for encoding's sake. Just another day in the hood. So yeah, that, was, that literally just happened. I didn't mean for that to get put in to the middle of this. So uh, hope everybody's doing well. I uh, moved my microphone. I just clapped right into it. So sorry about that. But moved it from over there because I kept hearing clicking. I hate it when y'all have to hear clicking, me clicking on the mice. Maybe it's not as bad since I'm right not right under it. Louisiana. Louisiana. We go down to, I'm very familiar with New Orleans, of course. I've been down there so many times. You're only like three hours from, or New Orleans is only three hours from here. But I've been all over, even down to Morgan City. Uh, lots of different places in Louisiana, actually. So, welcome. Yes, you have not been on one of my lives yet. Um, uh, we don't really have, i got a few things we're going to go over. This is a short one, as we have done Saturdays if you're not able to join in on Saturdays well, that's why I'm doing a little short one here so I'll probably go over a couple of the same items that Saturday uh, really depends on what happens tomorrow and Friday of course but the most the most bestest wonderfulest mostest bestest wonderfulest news is while <laughs> while it was uh, while the uh, homegirl was getting arrested over there <laughs> two little girls were walking around with boxes and they hit up every cop that was out there which there were about four or five surprisingly um, but as soon as they sold off some of their wares to the policemen out there chocolate almonds oh, school chocolate almonds are the best I was like hey I yelled across the street I was like hey get over here I came running across I almost got ran over I would have felt bad about that I would have bought if they would have gotten hit, I would have bought, you know, a couple more boxes than I bought. But anyway, five boxes is good for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, chocolate almonds. Fort Morgan City. Um, oh. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I forgot about that. Now nah, it's, it's nothing. It's just a change. Hey, Night Owl Paul. Um, uh, Glenn, hey, evening from Florida, Southampton Lockpicking Club. Ooh, lots of guys from Louisiana. Uh, are y'all getting the heat already? We're already hot. And I just saw a, a post on Twitter from somebody, not anybody related, just a post that was snowing, like it's still icy somewhere. Michigan, I think it was? I can't remember. Baton Rouge, I've got a uh, old school girlfriend, not girlfriend, but girl slash friend, one of my best girl slash friends from high school uh, moved there when she got out of high school and uh, and I have I've been over there several times too it's been a, been a while since I've been over to Baton, Ru Baton Rouge Baton Rouge so yes our neighbor in Louisiana welcome all you Louisiana people Louisiana I'm just joking Louisiana is a lot better than Mississippi <laughs> what the heck Oh my gosh, it's just so many vagrants, y'all. God, it's so bad here. Every corner, going back to that fight in the middle of the street, it's just, ugh, like all over. And then we're getting all these heavily tattooed white guys that look like they just literally, I'm sure they did just get a prison because thanks to court-ordered degrees, what do you call them? Uh, uh, when a city is forced to do something because they got sued and lost consensus decree um, all these places that cater to people to get out of prison they buy a house and they split a one family house into like four bedroom houses 
and pack these people in there, charge them like 400 bucks a month. So anyway, if they rented the house, they get a thousand dollars a month. So they by splitting it up into four different ways, they make two grand a month. And they don't care who they put in there. They're supposed to be in rehab. And like, there's a house right across from a park and people have been throwing a fit about that. But literally, there's nothing that can be done about it because of the consensus decree. The consensus decree. Uh, hey, Bart from the USA. Welcome. Red stick. What are you talking about, red stick? Baton Rouge. Rouge. Uh, Houston, yeah, I bet so. Yeah, Houston, Louisiana, Alabama, all those southern states are... No, it just seems to be getting worse, and that's not great. So if y'all are on... Oh, 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 I'll give you a new act. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be May, y'all. It is May. It's gonna be May. <laughs> um, if y'all are on Twitter, y'all may have noticed me take... Uh, oh, no, that's not... Hold on. Let's show you this first. Uh, there we go. This is a picture I posted on Twitter. Who knows what that is? Raise your hand. Those of you on Twitter probably do. Uh, you don't get a really good look at it, so since I didn't really describe it over much on Twitter, I will um, consent decree. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Uh, well, talk about it. I am underneath an 18-wheeler. Oh, and it was greasy as... Grr. Hey, Robert Head, how are you? Came here for locked and learned anything about it. Yeah, you never know what you're going to learn on this channel could be anything i actually just had a brilliant idea kim wasn't overly fond of it but to me it was a brilliant uh, uh music video gonna be working on that one and uh so yes that is a king pin lock that goes underneath a big rig here look a stupid picture of me uh hey Underneath the 18 wheeler, and like I posted on somewhere on, on the Facebook community. I don't really like that Facebook community tab because through my app, like I filter, you know, I go through my comments all the time, but the community tab, I actually have to, it's different. I don't know. I just don't like that community tab. So I only randomly post stuff up there. But check this bad boy out. And we're going to do videos. So, uh, ooh, 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 let's turn this down. Look, okay, watch this. Do you think an abloy is supposed to do this? Watch, watch. Uh, I didn't. I was going to do this as a video in slow motion, but I didn't get around to it. So, oh, watch out, watch. Drop. That was just so dang convenient. <laughs> so dang convenient to get into that one. <laughs> Everybody's like, what? Mayday! Mayday! It's gonna be May. Yeah, I keep those around. So yes, that was. Uh, if y'all did not uh, really follow that one, we'll we'll do that again. As you're like, how in the heck is that happening? Well, somebody had. If you see, it's got like two little, uh, you know, a little layer there. So what happens is you screw, you screw the key in like a uh, screw. And it tightens that plate down that's on the bottom. Well, there's a gap in the plate. And apparently they had hired a locksmith to come out. Or they did it themselves. I don't know the case. The locksmith apparently told them no and, and just went away. Um, but somebody had taken a, a grinder wheel and thankfully cut the face of it off. Which I have right here. And uh, yes, that was very, very convenient. I uh, had it right And honestly, it's a shame that they didn't get in because look at that. And, and of course, the guide, it had a guide because the slit, the gap between the two. But I mean, literally, they did a really, really freaking good job on that, to tell you the truth. Here's the rest of it, or the rest that fell out to the ground. A few discs and stuff. Unfortunately, it was uh, not real easy to unscrew. And um, once I got all the disc out, I couldn't get the sleeve to turn. The sleeve was connected to the end, which is a screw. And as you turn the key, it, it screws in. 
So I had to, uh, once I got all the disc out, and I couldn't, I could not for the life of me, and actually that took the longest amount of time was getting it, um, getting the dang, uh, hold on. There we go. Getting the dang, uh, uh, thing to unscrew because once you take all those discs out there's literally nothing in there so I had to break away the walls of the um, thing which is this this is actually the walls of the housing and I had to break them in and then uh, that didn't work so I had to drill a hole into the actual stem and then I took a screwdriver a flathead and I hammered it into the hole and then used it to unscrew it <laughs> and yay I got it open <sighs> greasy and uh yeah, they did a bad thing, but I mean, what other choice do you have? Like, uh, Wes, y'all, I've talked about Wes. He actually had dropped off that, uh, and it's funny, he had dropped off that little pick. And I was like, I grabbed it before I went over there. This is a, um, I say a box store. And uh, I went over there and uh, I had the little pick with me. And I was like, I got underneath it. Last time I did the same thing for this same box store. They're good at losing keys there for 18 wheelers. And, uh, Last time it was the best removable core, which was hard for me at the time because literally you're 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 like you're like this kind of kind of kind of like this. <laughs> so it's not real fun to work on those things. And greasy, the whole top of it's greased. And it'll, yeah. hey Pete, what's going on? So I'm glad they did a bad thing to that alloy. It made my job much easier, even though it wasn't. Uh, it's not a padlock. It's a. Uh, it was just a screw, kind of like you would find on a Coke machine or or a uh, bubble gum machine, where you screw it down to tighten it. And when you tighten that plate, there's a little um, notch that goes into the notch of the doodad, right? No, not not that. Sure. The notch goes into that little the little gap right there and that's what holds it on so you have to just unscrew it. it's not a padlock the best one if i remember correctly i think the best one was a padlock built into it so i don't know i'm just glad that they did that before i got there so i didn't have to do it right but when i put the pick in i was like i was gonna try the pick i don't pick alloy so i don't know why i was just like crap shoot so but i put the pick in and when i put the tip of the pick in and that disc started wiggling around. I was like, what in the heck? And then it started wiggling around some more. So I took the other pick and that's when I started dropping wafers out. And the uh, employee manager lady was like, you gonna spray freeze it? I was like, no, I'm not gonna spray freeze it. Guess what y'all? It's gonna be me. Uh, today I had a lane, get this, and I didn't, it's the only picture I got, and I only got this picture because it was so unique. This is a lane chest, and, uh, it was not a chest. I had to open it and, uh, check that out. I mean, that literally is, I think, how they came from the factory. They have had this piece for, like, they said 40 or 50 years, and, uh, yeah, Moth, $250 moth insurance policy. So if that was in the 50s, what would that equal to today? Who wants to take a wild guess? I don't know the answer. I'm just saying if y'all wanted to take a wild guess. It's getting warm in here. It's so warm. Let me check up on comments. Secure Tech, hey, what's going on, y'all? Yeah, there's so many different kinds of kingpin locks. It's crazy. It could be, you never know what you're going to get. When she called and said trailer tongue lock, I was like, trailer tongue lock. That could literally be anything from the thing you get off the shelf. But I had a feeling because I've done it for them before, same place, orange box store, and they are great at losing keys. So whatever. When I told her we have a shop and cut keys and they're key people, send people down to us often, they were all like, really? Really? Wow. Hmm. Hmm. I was like, you know what? We, we, we cut more more and better keys than you. <laughs> oh, uh, this happened a few days ago, so wanted me to bring up to a security, if you wanted to talk about security stuff. 
Here's another thing besides the whole what we started with. Who has seen this as you're meandering through a parking lot? Raise your hand if you've seen this. And to point that out, I had no real reason to post that. And I just realized that yesterday afternoon, somebody got their F-250, uh, grandma, I'm sorry, some grandma got her F-250. It's Mississippi, so grandma's drive F-250s here. And apparently uh, left her keys in the car. No matter what, and this kind of reminds me of that, but come on, people, Jesus Christ. Christ, how many times do you have to get reports from the news about car break-ins and stolen cars? Any of these cars that are stolen are stolen because the keys are in there. This is so freaking ridiculous. I mean, I just want to smack people. Thank you, Night Owl, for your estimation of $250 to $26. I told the guy $3,000, so I was close. $26, $36, $95. <laughs> Um, so grandma got her, grandma got run over by a reindeer. She got her truck stolen from Woodland Hills. That shopping center is right around the corner. And grandma got her F-250 stolen. I'm not a great singer. That was an ad lib. Sorry about that. I just had to point it out. Yeah, it's a nice bag. I kind of wanted the bag. <laughs> I'm a bag person though. Oh, and this was the other day, too. This is a fun little lock. Fun little lock because this fun little lock wouldn't open. It really pissed me off. Because who can guess what broke here? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. You win absolutely nothing. Just like Pete won absolutely nothing. Actually, I said he was supposed to get something. But I'll get something to him one day. Take a while. Guess where that little wire came from. And if you look right underneath the bolt, uh, you'll see the spring... But if you look right underneath the bolt in the brass, you see um, another little piece of wire. That's the other part of that spring. It's kind of buried in ook and yuck. Hey, Tennessee lock picking used to be Tennessee tarantulas and decided to char start his own lock picking channel so that us people who are not overly fond of spiders can just go watch his videos without fear of ooh, this is. <laughs> Spring, it is a spring, but guess where it's from? The Thumb Turn Adapter Night Owl wins something. I don't know what it is, but he will win something. No, I'm just joking. Um, that is the Thumb Turn. You see those two little holes? They uh, That spring goes in each of the holes and then wraps around so that it's springy and it's supposed to return. Unfortunately, the only Thumb Turn Adapter I had was too shallow. Uh, this is a Sergeant Lock, and I had one that was for a Corbin Russ one. All my other ones had, uh, oops, I am adjusting the wrong thing. What am I doing here? Okay. Uh, all my other ones are flat tailed. No, I don't know. I've got a bunch in there. I, I didn't have any with me at the time. So you're very concerned when you have to replace, when you, when you have to leave it like that. I hate saying to leave it like that, but I did leave it like that after I cleaned it up, of course. Because you're always concerned that if you don't, the, the return spring on those, when you turn it and it, it snicks into place, it holds that steady and it, instead of those tail pieces being down like it's, like it is there in that picture, when you flip the key from the outside, sometimes that can cause it to jam up. Like one's going one way, the other one's already there. So that's why those have a spring um, that makes it snap into position. However, that one, uh, it doesn't really look like it from the picture. It looks like in pretty good condition, but actually the bolt is really worn out. So undoubtedly, um, he'll have to replace it one day. Uh, I think we can probably get a couple more years out of it. So I don't know. We'll see. It's a, it's a common thing. And I've got two of them, but those, if you look them up, are ridiculously expensive. And then uh, I just hate charging somebody when it's not quite dead. It'll be dead again soon, so I, I give it a year or more. And in that meantime, it would, something else will probably have happened, so psh, whatever. Uh, it's working now. I'll hear about it if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, what I do, and I didn't get to tell him because he wasn't actually there. It was employees at the business. But what I do on those, just before anybody flames me for leaving it shit, um, 
uh, if it breaks, then I explain to them, listen, I'll go ahead and credit you the little repair, which really the repair really was only just getting the door open. So really I don't have to credit anything because most of what I did was just forcing it open because that spring had jammed in it and it would not unlock all the way. And so I took the thumb turn off and used a Phillips head screwdriver to force it back. And uh, luckily it got the spring bent out of the way. Um, but yes, I'll, I'll go back. I won't, if it's within a couple of months, I won't charge them uh, a service charge. And it's, unless they're way out, but this particular place is right by my house. So they're going kind of close to my house. Uh, I saw this the other day, <laughs> WD-40 ad. Oh, we're not going to get into the whole WD-40 debate, but I just saw this. So I figured, hey, I'm going to throw it up here. This is a 19, what, 67? Was this on, this may have been on bad locksmithing or something. See ya, LPP. Have a good one. Why don't pin kits come with a quick set number seven pin? Because, Daniel, number seven is for, uh, seven cuts are only for master, crappy master key systems, I might add. Um, and you're not supposed to key it up without it being master keyed to a number seven. So there's no seven pin. You can, if you have a 03 kit or 05, of course you could just use a, uh, what is it, a three, uh, I wanna say probably a 306 or something like that. So, but you just need to, if you have a seven and a quick set key, you would just need to uh, do a four with a three master pin. Try to stay away from six with the one master pin because it's just bad to do. So that is why there's no quick set number seven master pin because there's not really, it's, that's just for master key systems. And uh, so you have funny ad, ha, 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 I don't, I'm not into corny jokes like that, but some people are, so. <laughs> if you remember me talking about uh, the stolen police tires from Mississippi back a couple of weeks ago on my Saturday Live. Uh, while it's not a police station, this happened again at a car dealership <laughs> in Louisiana. Guys, Louisiana, this is in your state. Uh, Slidell, I believe it was. I uh, can't remember the name of the thing, but I bet you y'all have it on your local news. Um, yes. 38 cars stolen off <laughs> out of the dealer or tires stolen off of these cars at the dealership. Man, that took some work. I just, that's just crazy. That's expensive too. And they probably didn't do a real gentle job with it anyway, so. <laughs> just, a, just a whole row of cars with no, can you imagine coming into work the next morning? I mean, uh, filing insurance claims, just it, it hurts you as the business long term. So 38 cars was what they said on Facebook. Slidell, can't remember the name of the uh, dealership, but it was out of Slidell, Louisiana. <sighs> wow. And it looks like they were propped up with homemade. I mean, they came prepared. They came prepared with all those little cutout things. My micrometric key cutting machine. I don't know anything about that. Oh, they took the tires and everything. Yep. Micrometric key cutting machine. Anybody know what a micrometric key cutting machine is? Is that like one of Foley Bell Saws type? Peter has one. There, oh, puppy! Hey, puppy! Hi, puppy. <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy. I just, this world's just crazy, y'all. Stealing tires from everywhere. And I think that's it as far as, yeah, that is it as far as what I had planned. Oh, it's gotta be May! Gotta be May! <laughs> oh, me. Well, we are almost out of time, guys. Again, just a short chiming in. This is going to do nothing but screw me up for Saturday because I just used some of my Saturday content. But I wanted to give it a chance to you guys who cannot join me on Saturdays. If you can, Saturday 11 to 12 a.m. Central Standard Time. Right now here it is 627, so that will help you figure out where good old Mississippi is in your 
time frame. And uh, I apparently have getting steak cooked tonight. Yay! Yeah, I don't know what kind of steak, but steak, steak, right? So Kim's grilling out, and uh, I'm gonna pack up and get done with this. And, uh, and yeah, really, that's all I can think of. So I appreciate you guys stopping in. I'm gonna check in on the comments real quick before we sign off. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I'm glad uh, Night Owl answered you, Tennessee, about that micrometric because I don't know anything about them. Chevrolet, Matt Bauer Chevrolet, that's right. Yep, that was what it was. Out of Slidell, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, you know, it's hard to say if they even had security. Look at this. Oh, I got bit by a vampire, y'all. Wait a minute, can you see that? You can't see that. Ah, oh, look at that. While I was sleeping. Hey guys, Louisiana guys, do y'all have uh, do y'all have these stupid gnats, these biting gnats right now, or anybody else? They're little, these they're little vampire bats. Obviously, they're little vampire bats. I don't know if it's just us, or if it's in other regions. So, uh, what was your question? What was your question? I got, I don't, I missed it. I was just yapping away, and I just saw you log in, and I said hey, and. And nothing, uh, you said something about buffering. The police have tires again. Ah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> I didn't see your question. I think you're messing with me. King Street, yeah, he is. It's not just a steak. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll answer your question on Twitter. How about that? But I appreciate you guys stopping in, as always. Y'all have a great rest of your week and we will see you saturday morning or whatever the next video you get to get a chance to catch so yeah the gnats are horrible sweat bees is what y'all call them well they're not really bees they're more like little bitty tiny gnats and i don't know like what one got me right here too and it started itching and it's ugh. somebody said you can take vanilla and dab on yourself but i have a feeling that would attract other things right Gene hats. Yeah, they've been awful good. Uh, yeah, so up in uh, Tennessee, too. I, I bet it's a southern thing. Ugh. So, I don't know what I don't know what they are, but they're irritating little suckers. All right, we'll see you guys Saturday or next video. Thanks again for tuning in, and, uh, yeah, see ya. Peace. Thanks for joining in, everybody. You don't do Twitter. That's okay, I understand. It's not chiggers. It's flying. They got little wings. They're little black flies. Little bitty tiny. They don't look like they would hurt you, but they they get you. That's terrible. Terrible. I'm not sure if I like that end screen or not. It's gonna have when it uploads, it'll have the videos there. <laughs> See you guys.